Okay guys, in this video I will discuss about the solidity ratio in steel structure and how this solidity ratio affect the design of our steel structure. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so at the very first, what is the meaning of solidity ratio? Okay, so to discuss the meaning of solidity ratio or how to calculate this solidity ratio, we will consider two type of structure okay so the very first is the canopy structure in case of a canopy structure the solidity ratio is simply the ratio of obstructed area okay divided by the total or gross area okay let me clarify okay so let's say this is the canopy okay so under so under this canopy we have two mutually perpendicular direction okay so this is one and this is another let's say now wind is flowing normal to this face or to this gavel end okay and the gross area of this gavel end is let's say uh, this is a g and the obstructed area to this wind is how much it is also a g why because there is no such opening in this gavel end got it so for this gavel end without any opening the solidity ratio is simply one got it now let's say wind is flowing normal to this end okay and the gross area of this side or side two is let's say this is a2 and the obstructed area okay the obstructed area is only this much the remaining area has some opening this is the opening okay so of course the obstructed area is less than a2 let's say this is a2 dashed okay so if the opening is 100 percent in that case the solidity ratio is zero okay so now you have learned how to calculate the solidity ratio for a canopy structure okay and always you have to consider the wall or the end normal to which the wind is flowing okay now let's understand about the solidity ratio for a lattice structure a lattice structure means a pipe rack or it can be any electrical transmission tower okay and in that case the solidity ratio is again the ratio of two area first one is we have the gross area okay and to calculate the gross area you will have this width let's say this is a and the total height let's say this is h okay so we have gross area as a times h and the obstructed area obstructed area means the projected area of all this column this beam this bracings everything okay so everything you have to include to calculate the obstructed area okay so definitely that is much less than h okay so in this case also the solidity ratio lies within 0 to 1 okay so you have understand how to calculate the solidity ratio simply this is the ratio of two area first you have to calculate the gross area okay then the area that is obstructing the flow of wind okay so now the question is why does we need to bother about the solidity ratio yes we need to bother about solidity ratio why let's understand again first consider this canopy structure okay so this is a simply canopy structure and here we have two phase let's say this is one and this is another now let's say wind is flowing from this side or this side in both the cases the force exerted on this canopy is same agree but let's say at any of the side there is some train or we have some obstruction now let's say wind is flowing from this side okay so what is the result now what are you thinking 
the force exerted on this side and the force exerted on this side is same definitely not okay why because in this side of the canopy we have obstruction due to this strain okay and in all the code you will get how to calculate the extra force due to this obstruction here we have considered is code okay and if this is the canopy structure you can see this is the canopy structure and in this side we have obstruction so in this side we have obstruction okay let's say we have complete obstruction we are neglecting this very minor opening okay and due to this complete obstruction the solidity ratio is 1 but due to no obstruction the solidity ratio is 0 in this side okay let's say the slope of this roof is 20 degree okay and you can see that for solidity ratio 0 the coefficient is 0.7 so here 0.7 but for solidity ratio 1 the coefficient is 0.9 so near about 30 to 33 percent extra load is being applied in this set okay why due to this obstruction so you so if you do not consider this solidity ratio definitely this structure may be collapsed under critical cases okay now again consider this lattice structure this is a pipe rack what is the effect of solidity ratio okay so when wind is flowing from this side from this side from this side from this side okay definitely all these beams all these beams this column they are going to obstruct the wind path as a result of which the second frame this is the second frame this is the third frame this is the fourth frame they are going to be affected now how they are going to be affected again the code suggests okay so based on your solidity ratio and based on the frame spacing the frame spacing means this spacing okay this is the frame spacing okay so based on solidity ratio and frame spacing definitely you will have some shielding factor i have already made a video on shielding factor if you have not watched it you can go to the playlist and watch it to understand about the shielding factor okay so due to this shielding factor you can see that if we have 10 kN load in total due to wind in the first frame we will have less force in the second okay 70 percent or 80 percent sometimes 50 percent or 60 percent okay so this is the effect of your solidity ratio hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching